Okay, number two is asking us, um, I have some type of chemical uh, equation and it says a conjugate acid base pair in the reaction showed above is, and then it gives us, it's a multiple choice answer. So let me write this down here. I have CH3, NH3, so methylene mean plus HCl is going to be in equilibrium with CH3, NH3 plus Cl minus. It's asking us which one is the conjugate acid base pair in the reaction shown above. So let me write this down here. So I want the conjugate um, acid base pair. Okay. So how do I find the conjugate acid base pair? Well, I'll do this in red. Uh, actually, I'll do this in blue. Blue for acid and red for base here. So I'm looking at these compounds here. Basically, I want to look at, um, I'm looking at uh, kind of pairs of compounds. So if I were to break this up, um, I kind of have two parts, right? So I have this part here, which is the methylamine, and it gets pronated to make, uh, this, I forgot the positive charge here, sorry. This here is a positive, uh, and here is positive. Um, and here is, I have a methylamine that's uh, pronated, right? So I have a positive charge here. And then I'm looking at HCl here and then Cl minus, right? So again, I'm looking at these guys here. Specifically, I'll look at, let's look at methylamine first. So I have CH3, NH2, and then it's going to react to form, or it's in equilibrium with CH3, NH3 plus. And as you can see here, this guy here is a gaining or losing a, uh, a proton and we can we can we can look at this through using bronsted lowry theory where it states that bronsted lowry uh Bron let me draw let me write up bronsted lowry theory um acid or bronsted base states that um it states that if we were to uh it get rid of a hydrogen um they are uh uh you can think of it as if i'm losing a hydrogen here uh, it becomes an acid. It's an acid, right? If I'm, if I'm electron donating, I'm, I'm, I'm an acid and a hydrogen, sorry, hydrogen donating, I'd be an acid and hydrogen accepting, I would be a base, right? So in this case here, I have uh, bronsted lowry acid would be, you can say, donating H and then bronsted lowry um, use these quotes here for base is base here would be accepting a hydrogen proton, right? And this here is H plus here. So I'm looking at these guys here. And as you can see, uh, which one's donating the hydrogen? Well, I, well, I, it's definitely not these two guys, right? I have NH2 and the NH3 plus. It's not donating a hydrogen. I'm actually accepting one. I got I gained a hydrogen if I went to, uh, towards the right-hand side, right? So it has to be my HCl. HCl, as you can see, HCl becomes Cl minus here. I'm losing a hydrogen, so it's donating a hydrogen here, right? So as you can see here, this guy here would be my acid. HCl here is my acid. which means Cl minus is my conjugate base, right? So I can say this here is are my one of my two conjugate acid and conjugate base pairs. So this I would write here conjugate base or Cb here, uh, conjugate base here. And then, which means if I have an acid here, therefore this one must be a base, right? So this here is a base. And this one here would be my Ca or my conjugate acid. And these two are my conjugate um, acid base pairs. And all I'm going to have to do is look at these guys here. Right? I'm just looking at which one fits the criteria. And this one is not correct. This one's also not correct. This one's also not correct. This one's not correct. And E here has to be the final answer, right? HCl is my acid. And then conjugate base would be my Cl minus here. So e, we say E here is the correct answer. So solution here is correct. So all, but all you need to know about this question is basically testing bronsted lowry theory, where basically it says if it and the compound is donating a hydrogen, it is an acid. If it's accepting a hydrogen, it's a base, right? In this case, HCl is donating a hydrogen to make Cl minus, right? I'm giving this away to uh, the CH3 NH3, right? So therefore, this here, guys, acid, and this one here would be the conjugate base, right? And then finally, with this methylamine here, I have it's, this one would have to be the base because I am accepting, right? If I'm going towards right hand side, I'm accepting a hydrogen, right? NH2 becomes NH3 plus. So this here would be my base, which means this guy here would be my conjugate acid. So solution is correct. Great analysis here.